Cassie Hyder. Well, it's been a record breaking November for us as far as storms go, as far as rain and tornadoes go. And yesterday was no different. Our storm trackers started out around midnight uh, Sunday night into very early Monday morning, chasing these storms as they started in far southwest Oklahoma. There was some very heavy rain. There was lots of hydroplaning that took place in front of uh, Valley McCaster. Very scary situation. Now we like to see the rain, but we keep getting a lot of it all at once, and we don't like to see that wind that comes with the rain, especially when we've got those severe storms coming in. It makes it very difficult to be out on the roads, and unfortunately, some of this started to move into the metro right around rush hour, so that caused some problems with traffic traffic and everything. Let's go ahead and go to links one. So here we go. We ended up with six tornado reports, at least right now um, for November. OK, that was for yesterday. But for the month of November, right now we're at 22 preliminary tornado reports. The record, though, we easily have squashed that. That was 12. And that was set back in 1958. But looking at the entire year so far, we're at 136. The record being 149. That was back in 2019. Now we still have a lot more to go. We'll see if that actually happens, but Right now, as far as the rain is concerned, we're the third wettest November on record, at least here in Oklahoma City, coming in at 7.73. But we are the wettest November on record when we're looking at the entire state. Now, looking at the storm that came through yesterday, that brought us 0.91 here in Oklahoma City, but we had a whole lot of rain to the north and west and also just off to the south and east. Anywhere from 1 to 2 to nearly 3 inches, 2.84 down there in Paws Valley, 1.45 in a Pawnee, 2.22 in Shawnee, and almost 2 inches over in Clinton. So it's been a very hefty rain for us. So, so far for the month of November, at least in Oklahoma City, we've got 7.73, and that puts us at 6.62 above normal. Do we have any rain in the forecast? Well, eventually we do down the line, but certainly not today. You can see the showers, even some snow showers over Colorado. It looks like all of that's going to be staying at north of the border as we go throughout the next several hours. So we're going to see lots of sunshine today, and that's certainly what we're seeing on our Blanchard camera of our Lucky Star Sky Kim Network. We've already warmed up to 63 degrees despite a north wind coming in between about 10 to 15 miles an hour. We're at 56 in Sealing, 58 in El Reno, 63 in Tecumseh, 64 right now in Bristow. We have some low 50 to low 60s across north, some upper 60s across the southeast, and we're hanging out in the 40s right now in the panhandle with that north wind anywhere between about 10 to 20 miles an hour, but a much lighter wind across southeast Oklahoma. So right now, just kind of looking at the big picture, that front that came through yesterday, that continues to move towards the east coast. In the meantime, it's just going to be pretty cool around here, cool and quiet. It's going to get even cooler by about Thursday and Friday. Temperatures dropping down into the low to mid 50s for highs for some of us. But as we get into the weekend, and the cooler air moves off to the north and east, and it's going to be a little bit nicer. Temperatures will climb back into the low to mid 60s. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of wind, but we are watching for a pattern shift about midweek of next week. We've got some colder air plunging in from the north, and it looks like temperatures may not get out of the 40s. We also have a chance of rain, and eventually down the line, even some snow will be a possibility, and that would include the Oklahoma City Metro as we end the month of November, but we'll have to fine tune it as we get closer. Today, though, I think we kind of stay in the low 60s, about 64 today in Guthrie, 65 in Hera, 64 at the Tinker Air Force Base, about 60 degrees in Ponca City, the mid to upper 50s in the northwest and the upper 60s to low 70s across the south. Overnight tonight, it's going to get pretty cold. We're dropping down into the low to mid 30s, about 35 in Arcadia, 33 in Piedmont, 32 in Kingfisher and 35 degrees at the Oklahoma City Airport. But the low 30s and out of the upper 20s around Clinton and also looking at the upper 20s in Guymon. With that being said, we're going to have areas of frost all across central and even parts of eastern Oklahoma. The farther north and west you go, we're going to see more of a freeze, but a hard freeze in the panhandle. Tomorrow afternoon, it's still going to be a breezy northwest wind. Temperatures a lot cooler. Highs only in the mid 50s this time, 55 degrees in Ponca City, the upper 50s around Ada. And then Thursday afternoon, less wind. Temperatures start to go up a little bit, 57 degrees in Oklahoma City, 54 in Alvin. 62 degrees in Lawton. So your nine day forecast showing we are going to be cooling off for the rest of the week. But once we get into the weekend, we start to warm things back up. We've got low to even some upper 60s by the end of the weekend. That will carry on into early next week before that next storm system comes in. And by midweek of next, we've got a high 45 right now. That would just bring us plain rain. But some of the data I was looking at also brings in a wintry mix uh, by the time we end the month of November next that following weekend. I know a lot of people are probably hoping for that with Thanksgiving makes it feel more festive. I guess so. You and I like it hot though. Yeah. <laughs> All right.